Bang! Neves Knives. I'm Jared, and we have another massive unboxing from Todd. Todd, once again, man, thank you so much for all the support. Now, we do have one little issue. I am injured, so most of <laughs> what we're going to be doing is going to be left-handed, so forgive me if I fumble around it all. Let's get into it. Starting this off, we have two AD-15s. Um, by Cold Steel. Now this one is done by OCD for EDC. Um, stone washed. It's S35VN stone washed, and uh, looks like he bronzed the hardware. Check out the bead. Very awesome. I know you guys are wondering what happened to my hand. Um, I, I cut a muscle in my thumb, but uh, you play with knives, you get cut, right? Anyways, uh, these are very awesome. I wish my hand was working properly because I would love to show lefty EDC how you work these. But I think I'm doing pretty good with my lefty. But, you know, you got to operate it like a, a man, not like a child. You know, it's not uh, ball bearing action that uh, free falls shut like, you know, you want to pull it back and give it a little pop of the wrist. And that's how you shut them. Pull it back pop of the wrist and it shuts i'm obviously not left-handed but it's pretty easy and once you get it down pat it's actually pretty satisfying but i never like have pulled it back and then just sit there and just let it drop that's not how these work but very cool very awesome let's uh get to the next one um the cold steel knives man very hard use knives they are Definitely built for hard work. All right, next we have a Benchmade turret. All right. Okay, never seen this one before. Oh, that was very smooth. Very nice. I love that blade shape kind of a spear point blade shape um g10 scales very comfortable in the hand from what i can tell you know holding it in my left hand um it's hard for me to tell like this right now but yeah th this would be a very hard worker very smooth like i said the blade shape is just you know, you can just tell, man, that thing is very smooth. Spear point blade, beautiful swedge on top. Um, you know, that will help with a couple different things. One, when you're cutting, it'll help pass things over the blade. But two, you know, it helps bring some of the spine strength out to the tip. So, you know, you can, you know, rely on your tip in, you know, being durable and not worrying about it chipping or anything like that. Let's get to the next one. Next one is a, oh, oh man, I've never tried one of these. A Steel Will Plague Doctor. Ooh, man, that had a snappy detent. Holy cow. Is this on washers? You wouldn't think so with that flipping action. Holy cow, it is smooth. That is a solid detent. I, I'm surprised. Beautiful edge. Todd does uh, really good quality edges. This is um, D2. Man, that D10 to solid. The flipper tab, the way it's positioned, you know, you it is above the center of the pivot. But also you have this cutout back here that kind of gives you just a little bit more room, even though you really don't need it. Like you just break that D10, this thing flies. But the blade shape, man, look at that blade shape. I love that. Holy cow, I think I got to hold it in my right hand. Yeah, that that's nice, man. This is cool. I, I like it. Um, I could see, I, I remember a bunch of people saying how much they liked it and how awesome it was. Also, hopefully my, my, microphone, my microphone sounds good right now. If not, I will adjust it in the... 
the next video. It should sound okay. I'm using my old microphone, not the new one I bought. And if this doesn't sound good, then I'm, I'm going to buy another new microphone. But it should be okay. Now this one, it, the next one is... Sorry guys, it's not easy for me to open these things right now. Um, this is the Sativian ST... ST1... I'm not left-handed, guys. ST1... Wow. That was so smooth. ST109. Dang. Dang, that was smooth. I'm trying to work around a camera, too. Wow. Does that have play? No. Nope. At least not that I can feel. It must be on bearings. It's got to be. Yeah. So we have an access lock on bearings, which, you know is going to be very smooth, but dang it, this thing is so smooth. Very comfortable in the hand. This would be a fantastic user knife. A uh, very strong locking mechanism, the kind of lock it is. Insanely smooth, like on another level. Like just me breaking the detent, it flies. It almost feels assisted. I almost wanna get one of these now. Uh, that's cool, that's very cool. Um, I will link whatever I can down in the description for you guys. Only 28 bucks. Yeah, I'm buying one of these <laughs> for sure. That's crazy. That's crazy. All right, the next one. Ooh, I've actually tried one of these before. Oh, no, not like this, though. We have a Hinder Eclipse full tie. That's awesome. I love the titanium scales from Hinder. Um, these ones with this uh, texturing is really, really nice. It offers traction, but it's not sharp. I actually like, you know, a little, not, not like sharp, sharp, but like the Quiet Carry does, where it's almost like a nail file. I kind of like that, that feeling where when I hold on to it, it's holding back onto me. Um, this doesn't give you that. This is a lot slicker, but it all, it all it offers a little bit of traction for you. But we have a Tonto uh, stone wash knife, CPM 20 CV, full titanium. Feels like it's on washers or maybe Teflon. It's hard to say, but still flips really good. Maybe it's on bearings. But it doesn't, it feels like it's on washers. I'm pretty sure it is. Oh, yeah, this isn't a triway. I don't see the triway stuff. Okay, yeah, so this one's on washers. Flips good still, though. And I'm left, I'm not left handed, so, and it's still flipping good. You know, back in the day, we used to, um, that's kind of how, because not every flipper knife came with amazing action like they do today. Today, <coughs> excuse me. The knives that we consider bad action back in the day would have been amazing action. But the way we determined whether or not the detent was good was if you could do it with both hands. If you could flip it left-handed, well, then the detent was solid. This is the, the SOG Tech XR. Hoo, 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 hoo. Wow. Oh man, these are so good. I, I don't know, man. This is this is a great box of knives. Holy cow, this is good. I was not a Alright, I'm getting one of these too. What is going on? Okay, there's a little bit of detent lash. I definitely don't like that. But when I when this detent breaks, I'm gonna try to fail it. Okay, I can fail it. But the resistant you get the resistance you get right there. Like, when you give it effort, effort, it's almost like it just, it flies out so easily. I can imagine if this was my right hand. That is so good. You don't normally see access locks with action, like, well, you don't usually see access locks with a detent like this. This actually almost feels like, like a regular detent but it's with an access lock. Very, very nice. Man, I want, I'm gonna try it. Oh man. Oh, I don't know if I can do this. 
<laughs> yeah, I like this one. What steel is it? Cryo D2. Ooh, that's the only problem. Oh, I didn't try the thumb studs. <laughs> yeah, this is so good. I got to get more of these SOGs in, man. This The XR lock that they developed is just... they they. They're knocking it out of the park. They basically figured out the detent with an access lock, which if anybody who knows access locks knows that they just, they don't have good detents, but they figured it out. Next, we have a QSP. Um, uh, QSP Mamba. Ooh, this is slick. Nice. This is crazy how this blade is, though. VG10, we have almost, I mean, it's just a very high satin finish, but it's stonewashed, and I, it looks like it's been modified or something. Because I see some of the etching coming down here. Maybe it was just an accident from the company. But, great detent. QSP does a great job, so no complaints with QSP, I'm not a big fan of these scales. I don't even know what they are, but they're just so slick. They look kind of cool, but they also look cheap at the same time. Like something I expect to find from a gas station. That's what I think of when I see these scales. Edge is always really good from Todd. But um, yeah, drop point blade, uh, VG10, great detent, great action. I just... I'm not a fan of the scales. The scales kind of kill it for me because it looks literally like a gas station knife to me. Like something you'd find at, you know, I don't know. It does look really crazy though. Holy cow. I might take it back, what I said. Wow. You can see it's a metal screen. I'm going to zoom in for you guys because actually this does look pretty cool, but the lighting. Let me, uh, let me just zoom in for you guys. Look at this. It's like a metal screen wrapping around it. You can see the actual layer of screen inside there. Just They took a piece of screen and then put the epoxy around it. The problem is, is I just don't like the epoxy. Come on, focus. I just don't like the epoxy. And I'm sure my audio doesn't sound perfect, guys. I'm trying to figure out what is the best way to do it. Right now, the way I got this audio set up, it's not the best for top down. Like, if it, if it was how I used to have it, it would be fine. But I have a different microphone there now. So I'm, I'm figuring it out, guys. I'm figuring it out. But everything will get better, I promise. So if I re-listen to this later and it sounds like crap, we will. I promise you. We will get it under control throughout the next couple videos and get her done. All right, this is the SRM, so San Remu, I'm guessing, 9201. Oh, I gotta back this out. Okay, I was wanting to try one of these. I almost bought one. Very smooth. Oh, yeah. Very easy to thumb roll. D2 steel, G10, deep carry clip, G10 backspacer, um, clip point, almost a clip point buoy blade, but it, it is a clip point blade and it does um, trail up a little bit, so it does have a little bit of a trailing point to it. The hole is very easy to get to, lots of leverage in your flip. I bet I could do it even with my thumb right now. Um, just not a lot of force, and I can't close it. Very cool. And like I said, the thumb roll is also very easy. And it's very smooth. I'm guessing it's on bearings, maybe? It might not be on bearings, but it's very, very smooth. This is a cool knife. I'm not much of a buoy fan, but or a clip point fan, especially... When they, tr you know, have the trailing point type of uh, blade. But that's a cool knife. 
I can see why people like it. All right, we'll do uh, we'll do one more. Oh man, this is my old knife. Oh, I love this knife. Oh, I wish I would have never gave it up. The Buck Marksman. Ooh, this is the Tonto one. I had the drop point. I never tried the Tonto one, I don't think. Same steel, 154CM. This has got the G&G &G Hawk. Uh, it's very similar to the 8010's lock, where it's got the back strap, or 8015, sorry, back strap lock. It's kind of similar, and you have to pull it back and let it fall. Now, this one ooh, will just fall down. So I'm not good with it left-handed, but I used to have one of these, so I should be okay. Amazing action, um, but it can be dangerous if you're not, you know, when you get one in hand, you definitely want to make sure you always, always keep your fingers out of the blade path for the first little while. I mean, forever, actually. You never want to put your fingers in the blade path, but... Especially at first because you're still trying to get it down pat and get your detent down because they, you can tighten the strap. So you can make the detent stronger or lighter depending on, you know, not just your preference, but depending on what the knife requires to be solid. So this one's got a little tiny bit of play, but that can all be fixed with the strap and by tightening this. These are on bearings, but... Yeah, amazing action. Once you get used to them, man, they're super fidgety, super fun. If this was my right hand, man, we'd be going crazy right now. But awesome, awesome knife. I love these knives. They're very comfortable in the hand, very easy. Like <clears throat> the blade shape and grind because it is a, a deep hollow grind. It gets very thin behind the edge. This one is a dual grind. Mine was just a regular drop point. This is a beautiful Tonto. This is the, like, I love these Tontos right here, just like this. Nice deep hollow grind here. Um, flat grind up there offers a little bit of durability, but right here on this secondary tip, very, very sharp. Now, the, the handles, ergos, and blade match perfectly as a work knife. You have a massive amount of leverage into your cuts, and... You know, it's just a great blade shape grind, and it just makes sense as a tool. I, I've done construction with mine. I did all kinds of stuff with mine because um, it was just such a great knife. But there you guys go. So stay tuned for part two. I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.